I don't like people anymore. I am, complete, I am completely disillusioned. I woke up 18 years ago. I was very optimistic and positive since nothing worked out as I thought and people are so frustrating and disappointing. I'm not interested in the world anymore. It does not feel good. What can I do? Fabian. Thanks, Fabian, for your question. Um, I have to say, Fabian, I don't know what you mean by your awakening. Like, um, I don't know if it's the same as what I interpret by awakening. We all have our different associations. Um, but after my awakening as well, learning to deal with humans um, was a process. And um, it still is an ongoing process. And it might be to be with the way that you looked at things. Because when you have these awakenings, you become childlike again and innocent. And that, and you look at life in a different way. And that energy is very attractive to people, very attractive. And so you become like a, like, um, in some ways, becomes like gold to people, even if they don't even know about your awakening, even being around your energy is very attractive to people because we can all feel each other and there can be a feeling of that peace. So what it does with people with seeking energy is it makes them want a piece of you even though they're not conscious of it and that um, that's a difficult dance so if you also have any karma left over where you don't have good boundaries I didn't have great boundaries um, and also you're not putting out clearly what it is that you want um, from people, then, then you can see a bit of a dark side of humans. Humans, when they come from a seeking energy and they want something, and if they can't get it, which they can't, they can't get a piece of you and they can't get your freedom. If they're coming from that seeking place, they'll go through all these stages of trying to get it from you. And then the final stage can be, can be quite, a nasty energy when people realize they can't get what they want from you um, and so I would say Fabian that it's a combination maybe of old karmas that you haven't addressed not stating clearly enough what it is you want and most probably not having strong enough boundaries with people because you are different if you've had that awakening there is a difference it's just the way it is There is um, and also there's something that people can project so many things onto you when there is that flexibility after awakening. They can see you in so many different lights. My boundaries are not good and people take advantage of that. No, 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 that's negative. People don't take advantage of that. You don't put up good enough boundaries. Don't, don't bother with that kind of thinking. People take advantage of that. That's what's making you dislike people is wrong thoughts. That's old karma coming up thinking like that. The boundaries aren't good enough so you acknowledge that and you move towards wanting to put up better boundaries if you have bad boundaries with humans you're going to have very bad experiences especially if you have something that others want whether it be you really rich whether it be you having awakening whether it be really beautiful whether it be you um 
are a great writer, if you don't have great boundaries and you have something that other people want and the awakening one is really bizarre because they can't really detect what it is they want but they know they want to be around you because you feel so good um, then it's not that then people are going to try their hardest to get it it's not that they take advantage it's just the nature of humans so you need to to look to how you can be more effective with boundaries it's a bit of a problem living in a planet full of people and I don't want to meet people anymore correct yeah that's karma new karma that's formed from these boundaries so if you want to have a better it's all right to not interact with people there's many people that have had their awakenings and gone and lived in the forest away from people but if you want to interact with people if you find that desire comes up again then you have to learn to put up really good boundaries and i got i got sledgehammered because i had like back bad boundaries like i really and that that was on me that was because of my lack of, lack of a boundaries then life did something extreme to make me really see that and really see there was something that I needed to adjust. Um, and it's really, you've got to take a responsibility of it. And it took me a, a lot to realize it like I, I had to have quite a few experiences. I remember within the first seven or eight months of being a speaker on YouTube, somebody had copyrighted and published my talks under their name. Like, a, but it took a lot more. And I remember at the time just being like, ah, who cares? And <laughs> and um, it took a lot more. Of, and along those lines. Um, long business lines for me to address that lingering karma in myself um, so how can I learn to make better boundaries it's really simple actually you always know when your boundaries been crossed you always know it you feel it straight away you actually feel it it's just that maybe your attention isn't in that place so you just have to become aware of when your body says no and really act on it and really trust it. Um, but sometimes that feeling comes up and it's not very strong and you miss it. So it's just, an, it's just a case of redirecting your attention and paying, paying attention to when your boundary's saying no. You can feel it in your body. Your body instantly goes Ooh, when somebody crosses your boundary. So say... Um, So if somebody comes and asks you to do their lawn for them or their garden for them or water their plants and there is a no inside your body, there's got to be that flow or an ask them for payment. I don't know how to communicate it politely to other people. I don't want to be rude. Yeah. And if you're an empath, that's hard because you don't want to hurt people. Um, so... It's a new learning, maybe, that you have to do. And I think a lot of people struggle with this. Because what happens normally is that you don't do it, don't do it, and then out of anger you put up a boundary. So you find a way that works for you to communicate that properly. And, you know, that might be when somebody asks something, your instant response is to say yes and to agree to it and then afterwards it doesn't feel right so maybe you 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 now begin to train yourself to say let me think about that and then you can reply to them through email or through text or something and that gives you space and time to really feel into what your body wants it's like learning to use the tools around you
Yeah, so you so empath, indigo, a narcissistic mother and emotional abuse. How can I learn to draw boundaries to other people? Do you recommend therapies? I think it's all about learning about your body. The thing about recommending therapies is I always think that whoever, well, I actually, I don't know if I did always think this, but I'm really beginning to appreciate that whoever teaches you a therapy or talks to you about something really has to have experience and insight in it. So they've got to put it into practice. And my reluctancy with a lot of therapists is it's learn out of books and they've not actually put it into practice for themselves. So um, you can look around or you can look it up, but I feel that the answer is, uh, you can also book a one-to-one -one session with me, or we can do it, you could call in and we do it live on live stream. But you've just got to become aware of your feelings. Your feelings are the key rather than your mind. Like the mind plays a part, so you can use the thinking mind, but your but your feelings know what they want, and it's just redirecting the attention into the correct feelings and understanding how it works. It's noticing the detail and focusing on what it is that you do want. I want to be able to communicate boundaries. I want to set good boundaries with people. Thanks, Fabian, for your question.